Dusty Vision TV. Thanks for joining the program. If you're watching on YouTube, make sure to hit that like button. And if you're new to the channel, I welcome you. The title of today's episode is If It Came Out of Compton, It Came Through Me. Most people say that if it wasn't for him, there would be no Easy E. Most people say if it wasn't for him, there would be no Dr. Dre. And the list goes on and on and on. Ladies and gentlemen, on the line, my friend, the godfather of West Coast hip hop, Alonzo Williams. What up, man? What's up with you, Doug? How you doing today? I'm doing good, doing good. Thanks for joining the program, man. And it's a trip because um, I just got an alert on my phone that we posted the first episode of Not Without Alonzo two years ago today. Wow. Yeah, man. That Isn't that a trip, dude? You said two years ago? Two years ago, yeah. Just popped up on my Facebook memories, man. Wow, 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 Yeah, wow. yeah. Um, speaking of okay. Not Without Alonzo, tell everybody uh, before we get started where they can find you on YouTube. Find me on YouTube at Not Without Alonzo. Uh, I'm sorry, NWA Stories with Alonzo, with Alonzo on YouTube, uh, Instagram, uh, hashtag Real Alonzo NWA. Same thing for Facebook and Twitter. There it is, my man. There it is. Well, let's jump right into it, man. I want to kind of you, you said something to me uh, offline. You, you said an interesting uh, phrase, and I want to run with that tonight. But the phrase was, if it came out of Compton, it came through me. I'm always yes, I, I listen to podcasts religiously, hip hop specifically related, and I'm a big fan of West Coast hip hop. And growing up, uh, you know, all of the people I, I, I hear do podcasts now and, and do interviews your name always comes up. Ladies and gentlemen, yep. if you don't know the name Lonzo Williams, you definitely know the work that he's done behind the scenes and you know who he's responsible for, you know, pretty much bringing into the game. And if you saw straight out of Compton, he was, I guess, that the, he was the club promoter, the, the hype club promoter who didn't want Dre playing all that bullshit, uh, hip hop in his club with the, uh, with the Jerry Crow, right? That's me. <laughs> and let me ask you, how, how did uh, how did you feel, or how um, did did he hit Alonzo Williams uh, like right the nail on the head with with the whole how you were back then? You know, um, he played me great. It just the, the part they gave him to play uh, was not me at all. I mean, I'm the first person to bring Run DMC to L.A. First person to bring Curtis Blow to L.A. Uh, Doctor Jack with Mister Hyde. I mean, I was doing a lot of stuff with hip hop before anybody else was, so I had a I had a major love for, for, for hip hop overall. And shortly after that, I formed my group, World Class Wrecking Crew. Yeah. It's, uh, go ahead. What they said, what they said, I did in Santa Ana Compton never happened in real life. Okay, it never happened. I never hated on uh, gangster rap because by the time gangster rap was uh, up and running, I was already out of the club and I was doing something else. I mean, I was out of the doodle. I put it that way. I was doing something else. So, I mean, they put it together. I mean, it, it called it a creative license. Where right. they can, you know, come in and take a story and patch it together to make it more interesting. I ain't mad at them. I'm, I'm glad to be a, a part of a, doc, a docu I mean, a docu, what you call it? A doc, not docu series, but a. Uh, Autobio, auto, I don't know. Uh, one uh, of those damn things. Uh, yeah, something like that. <laughs> uh, 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 a biopic. There you go. A biopic. That it has as much success as it has, so I'm I'm in, I'm ingrained ingrained in hip hop history forever. Maybe yeah. the wrong story, but I take that. I make it work. Yeah, yeah. Now, aside from your part being a little off, how accurate was the movie Straight Outta Compton? The movie wasn't bad, man. It wasn't bad at all. I mean, it was very it was very cool. Again, like I said, they uh they have they call it creative license. They used it to the maximum. You yeah. know, stressed out the stuff. Had folks being heroes. I mean, if Dre had had a cape, he could have flew shit. But you know, he, he didn't. He, he talking shit to the police and fighting folks and jumping on blood. And hey, uh, hey man, uh, you know, sometimes people do shit in their mind they probably wouldn't do in real life. But I ain't gonna go there. <laughs> and it's kind of funny how I, I think it was the the final product was uh, if him and Ice Cube didn't approve of it, then it just it wasn't happening, right? Okay. All right. It was uh it was uh it was, yeah, it, it it was a it was a project, man. Mm -hmm. I was just in the car, that's all. <laughs> yeah, it is a trip though. For anyone who doesn't know, I mean, the fact that he had maybe two minutes tops in this movie doesn't even accurately portray 
what this dude did for West Coast hip hop. I mean, you were you were chopping through the weeds trying to figure stuff out. Take yourself back, guys, to 1980, 81, 82, you know, before hip hop was was a big big deal. I mean, this guy was discovering new things. I mean, pioneering new shit. How hard was it to even get a record out? Man, you know, um, nobody paid us no attention. Nobody paid hip hop no attention. You got to understand, uh, when I first got it, wanted to get into the music business about 80, 81, disco had just died. Disco was on life support. Okay. It had died, but you still had a few folks that was trying to, you know, breathe life into it. And they figured hip hop was going to be like disco. It was going to die a quick death and don't even worry about it. You know, funk is here to stay. R&B is here to stay. Blues is here to stay. Disco. I mean, hip hop is just something passed through. Thank you, yeah. and um, they uh, they didn't, uh, you know, nobody took it serious. Um, and they're not singing; they just spitting into the talk, hollering to the microphone. You know, nobody thought it was going to work. You know, so nobody paid no attention until all of a sudden we started making money. Then everybody wanted to be, oh yeah, I knew it was going to be great. I, I figured it was going to be <laughs> yeah. good. Same old bullshit. <laughs> that is so. It, it it was just, it was just really interesting, man. I mean. Um, and I went through it first. I mean, I knocked on every door in Hollywood, uh, Motown, uh, CBS, Sony. You know, after we did our own album, then they gave us a record deal. But nobody was checking for us in the beginning. Everybody was independent. And it worked out great for L.A. rappers because uh, we all became, we all were businessmen. Uh, uh, most of us were businessmen in the beginning. Mm-hmm. Either we worked in management at a job or we owned other smaller businesses. And it allowed us to, you know, uh, just expand our wings and do something different, which was make records. Mm-hmm. Whereas New York cats, they uh, they all got signed to label the record deals out the gate. Most of them cats don't own their masters like we do. You know, a lot of those guys got taken advantage of in the early days. They made more money than we did, but we had we have more control. Mm-hmm. And you know, sometimes control can uh, actually be a better thing. Oh yeah, yeah. I know you're. I, I always hope that when I turn on the TV and a commercial comes on, I hear one of your songs in the background. And Man, I'm, I'm, so, <laughs> I'm so waiting for that, dude. I'm so waiting for that. I mean, I, one of my partners is Adrian Gregory. He manages Digital Underground. Every time I hear Humpy Hump or one of them commercials, or that uh, the phone company, I'm like, oh, man, or oh, Hump Day, Humpy Hump. You know, I'm, oh, my God. I'm hearing uh, J.J. Fad just did uh, the uh, Hedgehog, or was it Hedgehog Sonic. They was in that movie. So at some point in time, somebody got to give me some love. I was hoping that I went viral on the fly with uh, Mike Pence a couple of weeks ago. With how? You know? <laughs> oh, with the fly. Oh, well, yeah. 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 I but, you know, that. <laughs> yeah. But Facebook, oh, Facebook started, started tripping on music real hard. So when nobody even put, do, do the, we couldn't even do a meme to make it work. If uh, we did the meme, they wouldn't play the music. Yeah. So, you know, it just took the whole fun out of it. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's yeah that that, that would have been it right there, my man. But yeah, listen to what yes, you started saying, man. The ownership part, ladies and gentlemen. Don't be so quick to sell yourself. Don't be so quick to sell your art. the The record label can't do shit without your voice. So don't don't ever give them uh, you know 100 percent of anything. I mean, at the end of the day, you know, Alonzo owns his music, and and it, 25, 30, 35 years later, if a uh, a movie wants to play 30 seconds of it, guess who they're gonna pay? They're gonna pay Alonzo. <laughs> She said she want to see the city bus She don't want to ride the city bus Because she's new to the town I advise look for truth The ears are lost in the sound Brains are lost in the cloud Dead from all of the smoke That's the reason why the ostrich hides his head in the ground That's the reason why the monster even puts on a mask And we turn the city green to blend in with the grass The city scene made a crash I fell in love with it twice Had to tell her goodbye cause she fell in love with the night I couldn't keep up I tried to bring it down from the sky But the clouds were so nice that she took a nap for a while And when she woke up I finally had a kid and a lady Bone told me saw the other day with the baby ain't life crazy i think about it once in a while when it's cloudy outside and the sun goes none of these drugs do what they supposed to yeah and what's the point of hurting people that you're close to yeah 
Most of my life I've been following stars Knowing I ain't really had to go that far Come to find out it's the truth I already know Yeah Spinning out a cylinder, moving, I'm in reverse Committing crimes of passion, judging jury at first But I love that girl, been my woman since day one Had a couple of kids in the house, the job done So what happened while we ain't loving no more? Maybe I should take some blames instead of taking the score But me and more don't go, I'm begging you gotta change We can work it out even through pleasure and pain You gotta chill with the liquor, girl, you get too friendly Who you talking to, baby? That's my man Henry That's what I'm talking about, baby, just sit your ass Damn. You wanted to have some fun, me take you out on the town So you can shake a tail feather, maybe we cut a rug Drinking and driving on the low key, rum in a jug Give me a hug, wrong nigga baby You drive your nigga crazy in the morning Won't remember shit, I know it's kinda hazy None of these drugs do what they supposed to Yeah, and what's the point of hurting people that you're close to Yeah most of my life I've been following stars Knowing I ain't really had to go that far Come to find out it's the truth I already know Yeah Ready, ready, set, go. go. Put your seatbelt on, up in the way we about to go. About to the road go. is gonna get windy, promise not to lose control. Yeah. The final destination's bound to captivate your soul. It's so, so. many MCs inspired to be yeah. one of the baddest motherfuckers to touch the MIC. Yeah. Then the law came life, now your dreams deferred. All the years of writing rhymes captured in a blur. My ponders contemplating the worst. Put all your energy into the music, now you're looking for thirst to be quenched. Paying dues upon dues Keep on telling yourself I'm making others believe in you too And it's true You can make it if you try There's levels to everything Better believe it Cause you can deny it And never achieve it It won't come easy Just put in the work And know your worth Continue to rise Cause all we do is capitalize None of these drugs Do what they supposed to Yeah And what's the point Of hurting people That you're close to Yeah most of my life I've been following stars Knowing I ain't really had to go that far Come to find out it's the truth I already know Yeah